guys, this is Teacher Jen and welcome to my channel. Ngayong araw na ito, sabay-sabay po tayong matuto kung paano mag-add ng iba't ibang klase ng mixed fractions. Ngayon po, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano mag-add ng mixed fractions with different examples. In number one, here we have the whole number plus the fractional part. Then number two, we have whole number plus the mixed number. Number three is mixed number plus another mixed number with different denominators. Okay, let's start with example number one. 3 plus 2 thirds. So we have here the whole number plus the fractional part. So what will we do is just simply combine the two numbers. So the answer will become mixed number 3 and 2 thirds. Another example is 4 plus 5 over 10. Okay, combine mo lang yung dalawang numbers, so it will become mixed number, which is 4 and 5 over 10. Since yung fractional part, 5 tenths can still be reduced into lowest terms, so we will divide it by 5. So the answer is, final answer is 4 and 1 half. So this is now our final answer. Okay, let's proceed with example number 2. We have whole number plus the mixed fraction. So what will we do if we encounter this kind of um, problem? So, madali lang po. We have just to add the uh, whole numbers, which are 10 and 15. So, the answer is 25. I repeat, 10 plus 15, 25. Then, copy the fractional part, which is 16 over 21. So, since wala ng number na can divide 16 and 21, so, this fraction is already in lowest term. Okay, last example na po tayo. So, we have 6 and 1 third, which is a mixed number, plus another mixed number, 3 and 2 6. So, what will we do? Just add first the fractional part, which is 1 third. One third and two six. Since yung denominators nila are different, three and six, we have to find the LCD. So we have one third plus two six. So our LCD here is six. So what will we do? 6 divided by 6 is equal to 1 times 2 is equal to 2. I repeat, 6 divided by 6 is equal to 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Here, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So, since... Pareho na yung denominators, just simply add the numerators. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 over 6. So, what will happen to the whole numbers? Okay, so just copy this answer for this fraction, 4, 6. Then just add the whole number, 6 plus 3 is 9. So, since we can still reduce the fraction into lowest term, so we divide it by 2. So 
So, copy the whole number. Then, perform the operation. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So, it's already in lowest term. So, our final answer is 9 and 2 thirds. I hope marami kayong natutunan sa araw na ito. And if you have any questions, just comment below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.